Living in the complete Apple ecosystem, a car a home kit guide. We may not yet live in the smart home era, but we're getting there. Our homes are increasingly being outfitted with networked lights, locks, alarms, cameras, thermostats, garage doors, and so on. How is all of it going to fit together? How will you manage everything if you don't have a dozen different apps? Apple's response is HomeKit, a smart home standard connecting all your devices via the Home app in Siri. This video will explain what HomeKit is, how it works, and how you can begin building your smartphone around it. Stay tuned and subscribe to Techonic for more such videos. Here we begin. What is Apple HomeKit? Apple HomeKit is an iOS platform for controlling your smart home. The concept is straightforward. Rather than having a slew of disparate smart home apps on your phone that don't communicate with one another, HomeKit brings them all together, putting control front and center on your device as well as via Siri on your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, HomePod Mini, and Mac computer. But that's only half the story. Apple HomeKit consists of two components. HomeKit is a standard, a background software technology that devices must adhere to in order to gain access to the club. Then there's Apple Home, a user-facing iOS app available on iPhones, iPads, and Mac computers. What is the Home app? Initially, Apple gave third-party software developers control over HomeKit-enabled devices. This proved to be a shambles, so iOS 10 introduced the Home app. You can view and manage your HomeKit-enabled devices in the Home app, but more importantly, you'll make rooms for them all to live in before combining products into scenes. For example, you could create a good night scene that when activated, turns off all your HomeKit-enabled lights, locks your HomeKit-enabled front door lock, and adjusts your thermostat to a cooler temperature. Consider scenes to be macros that simultaneously control a group of smart home devices. You can also create automations in the Home app, which are rules that control your smart home gear without your intervention. For example, you can schedule certain actions to occur at specific times of the day or when specific people leave or arrive at the house, based on their iOS device location. You can also make one device trigger another, for example, turning on lights when your front door is unlocked or when a motion detector detects movement. Apple has a comprehensive health page that explains how to set up and use the Home app. Which smart home products work with HomeKit? There are far too many to list. So instead, Apple has a page that lists all the HomeKit-enabled smart home accessory companies. LIFX, Elgato, Honeywell, Hunter, August, Quickset, and Logitech are some popular brands. Brands that do not have HomeKit-enabled products are just important as those who do. Notably, neither Nest nor popular home security company ADT supports HomeKit with any of its products. Setup. To get started with HomeKit, simply purchase any HomeKit-enabled device, such as a smart plug, light bulb, AirPlay 2 speaker, Apple TV, HomePod, HomePod Mini, or a thermostat or something else. Then launch the Home app, which is pre-installed on all iOS devices. Next, tap the Add Accessory button on the home screen of the main Home app, and follow the steps after the rear camera appears. Add HomeKit products include a HomeKit QR code that must be scanned with the camera. Scanning the HomeKit code adds a device to the HomeKit framework that you can assign to a room for organizing your HomeKit devices. Expanding outward. Once you've installed the Camera Hub G3 or another Akara Hub, you can begin adding accessories to expand the network. Again, numerous options are available, but you should first begin with the most important and easily accessible options. This includes the Simple Smart Plug, which can be used to control devices such as fans, lights, and smart appliances. With the right automation, this can be used to great effect, such as turning a non-smart coffee maker smart by turning it on and making a fresh brew after you wake up. Another important type of sensor is one that detects leaks, such as Akara's water leak sensor. This could be used to warn if a bath is about to overflow, but more importantly, it could be placed under a sink or in a basement to detect water leaks. An undiagnosed leaky sink can cost thousands of dollars if left unattended for too long. The Akara temperature and humidity sensor is another option, especially for parents who want to monitor the air quality in a baby's nursery. The type of sensor could also be used to regulate a room's temperature by turning on a heater or air conditioning if it becomes too cold or hot. 
Motion sensors are best known for security applications, but they can also help you in alerting your unexploded motion to space. For example, the same detection could assist you in setting automation for turning lights on and off throughout a home based on where people are. The Akara motion sensor is a good example, because despite its small size, it has a range of up to 22 feet and a viewing angle of 170 degrees. It also comes with a small stand, giving you nearly infinite mounting options. Then, there are contact sensors, which are typically used for security but can also be used for smart home applications. Using contact sensors on doors and windows to intelligently control an air conditioning system could save money by not wasting energy when a window is open. Central Camera Hub The first thing to think about when adding a hub into your network is so that device HomeKit devices can communicate with one another. HomeKit requires the use of an Apple TV, HomePad, or iPad as the central home hub, but consider adding additional hubs beyond that point. Device ecosystems may sometimes feed through a separate hub that connects to HomeKit. Because you're working with a smaller platform rather than the overall HomeKit framework, this can make connecting to the manufacturer's hardware to the smart home easier. The Acara Camera Hub G3 is one of many devices that acts as hubs produced by Acara. As the name implies, it is a hub through which other Acara smart home devices can connect using the HomeKit network, but it is also a camera in and of itself. The G3 can provide full surveillance of an area by providing a full 360 degree view using a 110 degree lens and a motorized base to move it around. While it works with HomeKit's secure video to keep it stored and encrypted with an iCloud, you can also view the feed using a car's companion app. In addition, on-device recognition can detect gestures and faces, trigger notifications and other home automation, and record clips for storage on HomeKit's smart video. While HomeKit supports 1080p video, the Camera Hub G3 can do more, with its 2304x1296 pixel sensor capable of being viewed in 1296p via Aquara's app. Video can also be sent to a compatible device using the USB-C Type-C port. Because it serves as a hub for Aquara devices, it requires more connectivity than the built-in dual-band Wi-Fi. It includes a Zigbee 3.0 hub and can connect up to 128 other Akara devices for a comprehensive smart home network. If you don't want to use HomeKit, the Camera Hub G3 is also compatible with Amazon's Alexa, Google Assistant, IFTTT, and Yandex Alice. What do you think of the Apple ecosystem and the Akara HomeKit guide? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification for future updates. Take care!